Hello everybody, Jose Rodriguez here. Another short video, but very important one. If you have anything like the Pro 1000, okay, or even higher, you may end up with a weird error popping up when you're trying to print. The person who tried this ended up, of course, with an error that you are loading the incorrect paper size or dimensions for your settings or something to that effect. After a lot of digging, I found out that this person was trying to print not through the top feeder, but in the very rear of the printer manual feeder. And that person was using a fine art paper that the recommendation from the provider said to use the manual feeder and choose a fine art paper choice. Well, not only will that then trigger that 30 very wide border front and back, there's a way to disable that, but that was not the case in this instance. The error ended up being very, very simple reasons. And also sort of a lack of good communication between the provider of the paper and the instructions that are given to the customer when you tell them that this is the printer that you are using. Of course, they say recommended to use a fine art paper choice, whatever that happened to be, that sort of matched the surface. And then to use the manual feeder. Well, you have no choice. Once you choose fine art media, you have to use the manual feeder. Okay, we'll get to this in a second. So here's what happened. This person was trying to print to four by six. You can't, you can't do that on the manual feeder. 8 by 10 is the minimal size that you can print using the manual feeder. Very simple. Of course, there was a mismatch in paper size. She had chosen 4 by 6 on the paper size menu and also fine art printing, which then forced her to use the manual feeder, which would have induced a 1-inch border, basically, front and back. That would leave you with a little wallet size image even if you could print to four by six, but apparently you cannot. Eight by 10 is the minimal size that you can print when using the manual feeder. What I suggested, and what I would just suggest to everybody, is to forego that. Do not use that recommended paper type. Look at your paper. If it looks semi-gloss or luster, pick that in your regular media drop-down menu. That will allow you to use this feeder and you will then be able to print four by six. Now, why in the world would anyone want to use this beast to print four by sixes? That one I just did not understand. It's simply not a very economical choice to make. This printer is meant for big prints, not little tiny prints. Get yourself a little desktop type job and use that for printing your four by sixes, which apparently are not going to be that important you're not going to sell those. They're probably to be give away to folks here and there. You can use certain papers with it, but probably not the thicker type papers as they are too difficult to pass through the paper feed on such all-in-one style printers. Just take home messages again. Don't use this for little prints, especially when you're making 50 of them, because every print wastes a little bit of ink after each print. Okay? And so again, think of that, 50. Yeah, that would not be economical. And you're using very little amount of ink per print anyway. So again, that ratio of waste versus ink on paper becomes a little bit too hard to accept. Eight by 10 size in the rear or manual feeder, as I call it. They call this the rear feeder. I call that the top feeder, which is on the top. I mean, anyway, so. That is it. Just remember that you just cannot use the back or the manual feeder for those small size prints. Four by sixes, five by sevens. No, no can do. Eight by 10 is the minimum size that you can load. All right. Thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe, share and like. And as always, happy printing, everyone. Bye-bye.